Jerome Ford joining us out here at Browns training camp, starting running back for the Cleveland Browns, getting ready for the 2024 season. Jerome, thanks for making the time for us. How has camp been going so far, partly in West Virginia, now back here in Berea? Camp is going great. Uh, we out here competing, having fun, uh, you know, competing against the defense and competing within our room. And I feel like it's been pretty fun. Um, we're constantly pushing each other and pushing ourselves to be ready for that first game. Your room, let's start there, right? Nick's working his way back up from injury. Uh, Donta has sustained an injury. You're, you're the incumbent starter right now, 800 yards rushing last year. Uh, how's the competitiveness in that room as well as the uh, camaraderie in that room? Uh, it was really good. We competed everything. We compete down from knowing what to do in the room, uh, out here on the field. And it's all friendly competition, you know. We laugh and we joke about it. Um, we might be like, yo, coach, look at that now, you know. You might want to give him a tally for that one. You know, and it's, it's all fun and games just to make each other better. All right, what did you do this off season, uh maybe that was different uh, in previous off seasons to get ready for this year knowing Nick's out, you know, with the injury. You're the, the go-to guy from the beginning of the year because you took over when he went down last year. Uh, just kind of, you know, tweaking my routine to make sure that I'm doing a little bit more in the recovery aspect of things um, and making sure I'm available you know, when it's time to go, because like you say, availability is the best ability. So making sure I'm able to be here and um, healthy for the team. You had a a solid year last year running the football, catching the football, returning the football, almost 2,000 all-purpose yards last year, nine touchdowns. Uh, I want to break each one of those down, all right? As a running back, what have you learned is the key to being a successful running back when you get the ball handed off to you in the NFL? Um. Like I said before, being available. So, um, you know, making sure that you're 100% ready to go. You're not sluggish, legs not heavy. Um, you're mentally prepared. You know what to do and where to go. I feel like those are the biggest things. How much of it is film study? I think about I think about 80% of it is film study and knowing what you're supposed to do because, like, a, a lot of people in the NFL, I feel like we're all, we're all great athletes. Right. And um, – Football is what come naturally. So knowing what to do and taking the thinking part out of it and just reacting and, and doing is what. Jerome it. Ford, our guest, Browns running back. We're out here at Browns training camp. All right, Jerome, catching the ball out of the backfield. What makes a good uh, receiving running back, I guess, is the way to put it. Um, uh, making sure you look the ball all the way in, um, knowing where you have to be on certain in certain concepts and being where you're supposed to be. And uh, uh, I feel like the route running is, you know, secondary to pass, uh, pass pro. So making sure that you're getting out right and you you checking all the all the boxes before you leave out the backfield. All right, let's go to kick returning, right? And with the new kickoff rules, I don't know what role you'll have, you know, this year, but uh, I'm sure you guys have uh, practiced it. You've watched it in the maybe the Hall of Fame game, right. and you've got your first game this uh, Saturday against Green Bay. So what what's the key to being a good kick returner, and maybe how does it change with the new rules? I feel like uh, being the key to be I haven't returned a lot, but uh, you know, I guess I would think being a uh, the key, a good key to being a good returner is um, make sure you set the return. Uh, show something that you're, you're not, you know, actually a place you're not actually going to get people running in a certain direction to set up blocks. Do you like the new rules? Um, or is it too early to tell? Too early to tell. Too early to tell. All right. Um, as far as the team expectations this year, right, uh, I've seen it all over the place, national media, local media, from Super Bowl or bust to, hey, they may finish third in their division. What's the mindset in the locker room or what's the approach within that locker room as you try and block out the outside noise? Uh, uh, the approach for us is win every day. Um, you know, we know Super Bowl is obviously the goal for everyone in the NFL, and everybody can say it, but our goal every day is just to win every day, win every rep, um, win every practice, and, you know, take it game by game. You know, and, and when we look up at the end, uh, we, we want, we, if we win every day like we're supposed to, we'll be where we want to be. The key a lot of people feel will be health and the return of Deshaun Watson. So from what you've seen in practice so far, taking the ball from him, catching the ball maybe uh, from him in 11-on-11, 7-on-7s, individual drills, how has he looked so far? Uh, Deshaun has always looked great. Um, You know, he a dog. He came ready to go. Um, You know, he's helping us out a lot. And, you know, he's one of the leaders of our team. And, you know, we always looking looking at him to you know lead us, and we we gonna follow and make sure that um, we're in position to make plays and help him. And he same way for us, we, he gonna be in position to help us. As far as last season, how it ended, how much motivation are you guys taking from? Hey, we made the playoffs, great, but then 
we got beat soundly on the road in the playoffs. Extra motivation, not wanting to have that taste in your mouth uh, much longer? Uh, yeah, um, just knowing that we were able to do what we did um, with what we were missing and uh, with everything that happened last season. Uh, we're, we're a lot motivated to have the guys come, having guys coming back. And, like, you know, like we, we probably have a, a great chance to do what we're supposed to do this year, and we're, we're really excited about it. As far as you, are you a personal goals guy? Do you set personal goals, uh, you know, for yourself, which in turn, if you achieve them, means the team's going to do well, or are you not a goal setter? I'm not really a goal setter. Um, I'm just the type of guy that's like, you know, I'm given a task. I want to make sure that I complete the task. And uh, whether it's, like you said, kick return, catching the ball in the backfield, where, wherever I'm put, I want to make sure that I do my job so that the team has success. Last thing, and we'll let you go, Jerome Ford is our guest number 34 uh, in the program on the field. Uh, and number one right now is the starting running back for the Browns as they get ready for Saturday's game against Green Bay. Any idea whether you're playing or what you're doing on Saturday? That's probably a Coach Stefanski question. Uh, we'll probably leave that to him to decide. Uh, see, look, he's a, he's a veteran now. He passed that along to the coach. That's who's going to decide <laughs> that. Uh, and, all right, let me phrase it a different way. How much work do you need to feel like you're ready for the regular season? Um, I feel like all of camp will be like, you know, I feel like Coach Daly and Coach Stefanski will do a great job of preparing us and getting us ready for that first game. And um, I feel like we'll be fine. I feel like camp is what we need and it being hard out here is is going to be a good test for us. All right. Man. We appreciate this. Thanks so much, Jerome. Best of luck this season. Look forward to talking to you down the road. Thank you.